Okay, we will do exercise one of this chapter, creating a LP grid OOP. We create a new program with name ZOOP008. We create the program as executable program and we save as a local object. We create one include for data object declaration with name ZOOP008 underscore top. We double click the include for creating the include. We save and activate the program. In the include, we create a reference variable to class CL GUI ALV grid with name R grid. And we create also a reference variable to class CL GUI custom container with name rcon and then we create an internal table for fill catalog with type lvc sfcat and with name itfcat and then we create a working area for internal table itfcat and then we create structure data object for layout with type lvc s layout with name wa layout then we create a structure type the structure contains several fields carrier id connection id flight date price Currency, plant type, seats marks, and seats occupy. We activate first and there is an error. We activate again we create an internal table with name IT main for storing data that we want to show in ALP. And we also create a working area for internal table AT main. We activate the program. And then we go back to the main program. We create a selection screen. We create a select option for selecting careers ID with name SO underscore car. But before that, we have to declare a structure first. We go to top include. We define structure as car. We activate the program. And we go back to the main program. We add event start of selection block first. And then we get the data from table as flight based on selection screen input. And we store the result in internal table IT main. We activate the program. We go back again to top include we create an internal table it scar for storing master data carriers and then 
We also create a working area for internal table ATS car. And we also create a data object with name index loop. And we activate the program. We will fill carrier name field of internal table IT main. We loop the internal table IT main. But we have to get the master data carrier from database. We select the data from table SCAR and we store in internal table IT SCAR. We activate first. And then we continue filling field carrier name of internal table IT main. We modify the internal table IT main and then we activate the program. We have done getting the data from database and now we will create a LV for displaying the data. First, we create a screen. We create screen with number 100. We fill the description of the screen. And then we go to the flow logic of the screen. We set the status for the screen in module status 100. We create the module in a new PBO include. We create a new status with name state 100 and then we double click the status name for creating the status. We fill the short text of the status. In the status, we create a back toolbar and then we activate the program. And then we go to the element list of the screen. We set the name of element function code. And then we go to the top include and we create a data object with name OK code. We activate the program. We go back to the screen. We create a module in PAE section with name user command 100 for catching the function code of the screen. And then we store the module in new PAE include. And then, if the function code is back, so we go to preview state of the program. We activate the program. And we go back to the screen 100. We change the layout of the screen. In the screen, we create custom container control.
and we set name of this control to conf and then we activate the screen we create module in PBO for displaying ALV with name display ALV we double click the module name to create the module we store in PBO include we have created and then we create object from class CL GUI custom container We fill the exporting parameter container name. We fill with the name of custom container control we have created in previous step. We activate the program. Then we create object from class CLGUI ALV grid. We fill the exporting parameter e underscore parent with object of class CLG custom container. We create subroutine for filling the field catalog. We create subroutine with name set fcat. And then we double click the subroutine name for creating the subroutine. And we store in a new include. First, we clear the content of internal table ITFCAT and then we fill the internal table. We can take a look to structure LPC SFCAT to know the list of fields we can set. We go back to the program, we fill the field catalog internal table, first we create field catalog for field carrier ID, And then we create field catalog for field carrier name. And then we create field catalog for field connection ID. And then we create field catalog for field light date. And then we create field catalog for field price. And then we create field catalog for field currency. And then we create field catalog for field plan tape. And then we create field catalog for field sheets marks. And then we create field catalog for field sheets occupy.
we activate first there is an error we fix first and we activate again the program We set the layout of ALP grid. We create a subroutine with name set layout. We double click the subroutine name for creating the subroutine. First, we clear the content of structure with a layout. And we can take a look to structure LPC as layout. To know the list of fields we can set. We optimize the column width. We activate the program. We display the ALV by accessing method set table for first display. We can use pattern function. So SAP GUI will generate the template code. We fill the changing parameter AT or tab with internal table AT main. And we fill the importing parameter is layout with structure with a layout. And then we fill the changing parameter IT field catalog with internal table IT FCAT. We activate the program. And then we go back to the main program. In the main program, we call the screen 100. We activate the program. And then we execute the program. We fill select option carrier ID. And then we execute. And the data is displayed in a grid. We will add a title to the ALP grid. We check the field name for setting the title in structure LPC as layout. And then we change the structure with a layout. We set the field grid title. And then we activate the program. And then we run again the program. Okay, we have done this exercise.